Hi, my name is Jameson Blanford. Today we're going to be talking about the revolution that's going on, put forth by cloud computing, and the slew of mobile devices that are coming out, like the iPad. So with devices like this, anywhere you are, anytime you want to work, you can get onto the network and access your files, access your remote computing resources, all with the help of a Wi-Fi connection. So really, Wi-Fi becoming critical to enabling mobile devices to connect back to their resources and allowing people to be productive wherever they are. Now we're going to be showcasing three different mobile applications that you can use in your enterprise or educational institution to enhance the productivity or collaboration of your employees. Let's first take a look at our first one, which is VNC. So the use case for this, really remotely administrating a server or another computer that you might have in the cloud. So first we're going to take a look at a network diagram. I'm going to pull up Cisco Network Assistant. So I can take a look at how are my ports doing on my network? Is every link light up? Are all my ports actively you know, communicating with the end devices? Now I can switch over to my network diagram and I can make sure that each individual switch is interconnected back to the core switch and ensure all my stack links are up and working. Now that I've checked out my network infrastructure, let's browse over to my virtual infrastructure. So now I'm actually opening VMware Infrastructure Client, and I'm taking a look at the memory usage of my server. And you can see, actually, that's starting to raise over time. So I might want to take a look at that when I get back in the lab. So really, the application here being about remote computing and remote administration, so you can access your resources wherever you are. Now moving on to our next example, we have a mobile video application. So here I'm going to start streaming a mobile video on each of these iPads. And now it's actively streaming using an HTTP protocol. So it's something like you would be downloading a video from YouTube or watching that video in a web browser. Now, in addition to those iPad clients, we also have on the same access point five Intel 5300 laptops playing a Cisco video stream. So we're using Cisco video stream technology to reliably deliver multicast video to each one of those clients while still maintaining high quality on our mobile clients. So really users being able to consume bandwidth and videos in, different, in a different variety of formats wherever they are. Now for our last application and our last demonstration, we're actually going to switch over to a mobile presenter application. So this application called Mobile Presenter and I have it on my presentation iPad, and I also have it on three different client iPads. So these would be examples of users in you know, an office meeting or an educational institution that want to follow along with the presentation and really give it an interactive learning style. So I'm going to go ahead and start my presentation, and actually this presentation is actually about how to give presentations. So now as I've opened up my slides, you can see each individual user gets a viewpoint of what I see on my screen as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the end of the slideshow. Let's say I finish this up, now I'm going to ask people for questions. You can see as I scrolled, each individual user got a view of what I was seeing on my screen as well. So they can stay interactive and follow along. Now all of these interactive demos were running on a Cisco Unified Wireless LAN. We're using the Aeronet 3500 series, which is a dual band 802.11 access point. Now all of these clients, including the iPads and Intel 5300 clients, were also dual band. We had them evenly split between the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands, because it's important for dual band clients to use either frequency band, so there's enough capacity. Now what have we really shown you here? We've shown you that cloud computing and access to network resources can allow people to do a variety of interesting things using mobile applications on the iPad.